Oh. Hi. This is going to be a complete tutorial to flash the firmware of these nice hoverboat motors. Yeah. And uh, we are, have already been some nice guys who rewrote the complete firmware. But um, they only um, offered a, a demo. Uh, a demo firmware which is just uh, good for um, testing the motors so if you do this then well yeah <laughs> you can already be happy that you succeeded in starting the firmware but the firmware is of no use and it's um, okay, <laughs> quite stupid <laughs> because um, these nice guys uh, here from the heck. Oh no, let's turn off this stuff. Uh, only fun projects. And uh, here is uh, very nice to see uh, where to attach the flash uh, device. And uh, here to the left, that's the serial control. Uh, it was already here, so giving serial output. And now that's here, TXR, RX, oh, wrong button. And to the left is going to be here, the ADC, AD2 input. Uh, very nice, And but um, when, when it comes to flashing, yeah, well, simply type make. <laughs> Maybe I will comment on <laughs> this typical Lunix Linux behavior later. Uh, so after installing my complete notebook, a web server, everything, uh, I was able to finally to <laughs> install the, the, the tool chain uh, on my web server, uh, Debian. Uh, I had to reinstall my complete web server. And, and so after I uh, succeeded, I've uh, made this uh, online compil compiler. So you can simply do whatever you like. So uh, yeah, let's begin with here. So if you just, there's a temporary website, uh, the domain. And uh, so <coughs> below there are, it always uh, takes a look uh, when you call it to, to the GitHub and downloads uh, the, the latest uh, version is of source code and then, then it detects uh, the default settings. You see, because these guys were so nice to to make diff different settings to control and uh, um, pre uh, like a car or the armchair, but they <laughs> simply did not compile it and upload. So everybody has to waste uh, two days uh, at least to, to get this stupid Linux two chain to to run. Uh, yeah. So here you uh, <coughs> all the different. settings i've i've parked them so you can simply key clear so okay the, the adc control and if you can go here to the search for xxx then i added here so it's at control adc and here the filter is changed and the speed coefficient and the steer coefficient so you can um, do some more stuff uh like uh, the where is it here, the, the number of cells. And um, also these uh, nice guys, <laughs> they could add more uh, stuff, uh, more settings to this uh, uh, include uh, file here, because when I parse, I simply look for here, for, for this code uh, filter, and then downwards until the new line and two lines upwards. That's with, uh, the, the, the stuff that I pass for adding um, this default setting. And well, yeah, you can now add a label for yourself like ADC, uh, no steer, uh, and simply hit the compile <laughs> button. <laughs> it takes some time because, well, on now on my web server, <laughs> all, all the source code gets compiled. And um, so here, uh, downloading uh, the hex file or the, the bin file and so if you 
click well here you see you download it and now let's try to flash it so you need this uh, flash utility uh, to get this you simply google for st link flash and here that's the first uh, link that's going to be here get software install the software you get this icon on the desktop and when you click the icon on the desktop yeah you are ready now uh, to show you here uh, a bit how to so here this is a header uh, I would say if you want to um, solder in really headers and you have to uh, unscrew all the MOSFETs and to solder from the inside, I would suggest uh, you, you simply buy such an extender, extending cable, a four pin, um, oh, where are we here? Cut it in the middle or somewhere here and solder in from top because then you have uh, the cable uh, you might want to uh, mount outside. So if you want to flash the software uh, as a firmware later. It's only three pins. You should not, I, I think, uh, connect the plus three point three because uh, the voltage is coming from uh, here, from from the battery pack. And uh, they they said that you should not, uh, better not um, use this power on button, but simply um, shortcut it. So uh, I simply bridge the the power on, and then I turn. Let's go back a bit here. Turn that on. This is, uh, yeah, you can buy it on AliExpress, eBay, everywhere for $2. Here is a serial uh, port connected to, uh, well, here, take a look at the image on their GitHub. Yeah, that's all you have to do. And so back here, first I suggest you uh, update a new firmware. So device connect. Uh, no device so found so unplug and plug again try again and so you see it, it detected the firmware and okay it's the most up-to-date firmware because I have done so then you can go to target connect and so you see okay connect already succeeded And it can already be happy and then you simply uh, target program navigate yeah that's windows 10 <laughs> i mean i'm now i'm recording and here there should be yeah here's the adc no stir with the timestamp open and well simply click start <laughs> Bing, that, that's all. <coughs> that's all. So now we have the ADC control. So I need a 3.3 volt, I, I guess. So let's remove the here. And um, so it's minus, it's a second from the bottom and plus 3.3. That's ah. Uh, the top and here the ADC is uh, two pins going here and here yeah, so let's unplug uh, and also remove the, the bridge and power on again let's have a look at the terminal uh, where is it uh, can we can we reset it the terminal and well yeah simply that's, the noise is coming here because well that's a, a brilliant resonator So simply, uh, and now you, you could return to the settings. You could return to the settings to change the direction. 
And here, I think the first two uh, of these uh, serial, that's uh, uh, the ADC input. So you can uh, unscrew and screw a bit, uh, change the potentiometer, see if the values fit, because looks, I don't know, no longer need this here. Uh, so if you take a look at the firmware and the source code of the include, yeah, here there's the invert direction. So um, right now, I'll next I'm going to, to put a, a weight on it and, and spool it upwards to, to measure the power and the, the torque. And so the, uh, I need both uh, going to the same direction. So this would be something. Uh, yeah, but, uh, well, uh, but it's simply make your changes, uh, take a, a preset and hit the compile button and, and download this. Uh, ST link firmware installer and, and well then you can go make build lots of cool projects and okay now I can go, go back to this I really uh, I wish Linux would never have been born it's all uh, <sighs> these guys they, they don't really know what to do with the time so so at Christmas oh well, what could we do at Christmas uh, so let's build a new for operating system and if you here look at uh, at these uh, really they, they did a good job uh, but uh, yes uh, if and when you look at uh, what, what what they're doing this this it's just a fun project and it, it's it's always uh, it's always and only about uh, who's got the biggest penis and so yeah they did a great job and so they uploaded a firmware that's of no use so we can all say oh yeah you great and now we have to do exactly what they have done and and it's it's symptomatic for 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 well for the toy world that people never really have the joy to to make something for others so that they can really go on and really it's uh, i i've want to use these motors for my uh, solo car and and uh, here i have uh, another really uh, great project that's hydrothermal carbonization uh, and, um, and and as you can see here uh, i attached here a sprocket from 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 that and so really a, a lot a lot of work to do and and really i i would we don't need uh, to really dig into the source code. Uh, for, for, for the beginning, it was just need such a present. Uh, as, as a firmware, a PVM for each motor, and simply then I could go on with my with my project. And, and yeah, later I could, um, uh, if I would uh, dig into the firmware, then I will install the, the tool chain. But um, that's, that's not the... the a train of thoughts with with all these uh, Linux guys. They only say, "Oh, hey, I'm a master, and you have to pray to me." And, and yeah, they they really they, <laughs> these guys they have a big penis. Yes, <laughs> did a good job. Yeah, uh, but they don't use their penis to to really uh, make other people happy, but only well to get a blowjob. And that's really when I when I started, it's really was. Like, oh. I said, okay, uh, two days uh, with, uh, just to, to reinstall my computer. Uh, I tried to install uh, an IDE uh, on, on Windows 10 and, and then I could not import the source code. And, oh, wow. and so, but I, in the middle of all this, uh, <laughs> then I, I noticed that, oh well, yeah, okay, if I uh, only Linux, I have available, that's my web server. And if I have a web server, well, then I could, uh, make an online compiler and so help you see that's a train of thought that when if i do something then uh, how can um, i do the best so others really can just take up my work and continue with their work you see uh, my solar car I, I want to build a new solar panel uh, from scratch you see and it's really it's hot it's summer and i'm i want to go off on next tour and don't have really this time and so uh, but Really, I had to make a stop, a break, install everything, a new computer, a new web server, install the SSL certificator so, so you can have a secure download of the firmware and everything. And so, uh, 
I added this feature that now these guys with these big penises, <laughs> they could add more default settings to, to their stuff. And of course, they now could say, oh, no, <laughs> we, do, I will, we will change uh, the settings so that uh, this um, automatic compiler will no longer work. But uh, yeah, you either lose or fail. There's nothing in between. You are either loser or failure. And the first rule for failures is a failure can never admit being a failure because he is a failure. And the loser, well, he can admit that he has lost. So if you <laughs> want to fuck me, well, then yeah, change your <laughs> source code and my compiler will no longer work. And that's why I suggest that you always, when you do here, it's okay, no risk, but um, take a look at what I've, what changes my uh, default setting have done to the original and um, I, I maybe when I later dig into the full source code then I may uh, add not only change uh, to change the config.h but pff, other stuff because I would like to have recuperation so when you break to get the energy back or electric break and I don't think that's right in now in the firmware so later on but you see for now to it's to, to have this uh, success uh, so of the motors and I want to put this motor into my solar car and, and then uh, will he uh, have a nice new um, <laughs> as, as, um, thing uh, to, 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 to ride and because right now I've uh, with 3D, 3D printed uh, planetary gearings, they make a lot of noise. And so I really um, I'm very uh, positive to, for these motors. And um, there's a sprocket here, I did that's metal. And so I, uh, with the angle grinder cut off here because it was too high. Uh, and then uh, attached uh, the, the metal plate directly and it's now very close to the magnets inside. And therefore, the, it's, uh, it's not this, but it's more uh, a, a f fluent rotation. And so, but they are running and that's why I want to now um, really measure the, the power and the efficiency and the torque uh, of these uh, two different uh, setups, the original one and, and here, my, my setup here with the, uh, the chain sprocket. <sighs> Okay, that's long enough. I hope you enjoy my online compiler. Of course, it's the same license as the original, so free to use for everyone. <laughs> and life is at your own risk. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you for watching.